にちは。こんにちは。よしよし。よいしょ。オッケー。オッケー。レスティです。Welcome to Welcome Japan Channel. Now we are at Kichijo. 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 Ah, Kichijo. I'm Kan Chang and I'm come from Thailand. But I've been living in Tokyo for this year going to be day fifth, and I live in Japan for about ten years. Hi, I'm Yuki. I'm Japanese, and I'm originally from Tottori Prefecture, mm -hmm. and I've been living in Tokyo for more than ten years. Ten years? <laughs> yep. And Kichijoji is kind of my neighborhood, and I've been here for fifty times. Fifty times, uh, approximately. <laughs> yeah. How about you guys? Have you ever heard about Kichijoji, or have you ever been here? So let us introduce this area for you guys. Kichijoji is a very characteristic neighborhood located in Musashino, a city bordering Tokyo's western part. The name Kichijoji comes from the Hindi goddess of luck and prosperity. Lakshmi, known as Kichijoten in Japanese Buddhism. Initially, a temple dedicated to her called Kichijoji was located in the center of Tokyo, but disappeared due to a fire in 1657. After the fire, Kichijoji was made available as an area in which to resettle for the inhabitants of the misfortune area. And in devotion to the deity, they decided to give her name Kisijoji to the new village. Fast forward to 1971, with the completion of Kisijoji Main Street, the city began to develop in earnest as a commercial area and became a popular place for fashion, culture, and residence. Four large commercial facilities were built surrounding Kisijoji Station. In the present day, the tenants are Yodobashi Camera, Tokyo Department Store, Marui, and Kopis. In between these facilities, small and medium-sized buildings stand side by side, and a variety of stores and restaurants line the streets, forming several shopping districts. Kichijoji has long been known as a theater town, with a Zenshinza Theater established roots in Kichijoji since 1937 before World War II. But it is also known as a town of jazz, rock, and folk music, with many jazz cafes and live houses. Many manga artists live in the vicinity, and there are also many animation production companies and game software makers. Perhaps because of this, the area is often used as a location for manga, anime, and game productions. The best example is perhaps GTO Great Teacher Nizuka, one of the most classic anime, which many scenes are located at the Inokashira Park and its pond. Or the famous video game Persona 5 Royal also has many scenes located around Sun Road Shopping Street. This place is indeed a source of subcultures, as some people call it. You can easily access Kichijoji by taking a JR Chuo Rapid Train from Tokyo, about 30 minutes, or Shinjuku, usually 15 minutes. If you're coming from Shibuya, the Inokashira Line will take you to your destination in about 15 minutes. Both rides are frequent and inexpensive. And you can plan half a day or even an entire day at your disposal in Kichijoji. All right, so let's take a closer look of many sport in this area. Let's go. Our first destination today is Inokashira Park. Just less than 10 minutes walking distance, the quickest way to the park from Kichijoji Station will have you walk through this small shopping street named Nanaibashi Dori to the right of the Marui Department. The street is about 200 meters long, and you can walk through it just about five minutes. It is lined with popular stores for fashion, arts, cafes, restaurants, and general merchandise stores. 
the most famous thing about it is that there are many second-hand clothing stores where you can buy clothes at reasonable prices. Before Corona, it is always crowded with people on holidays, strolling around, checking out old clothes, having a cup of coffee at terrace seats, or eating out with family in a cool restaurant. It is one of the recommended spots that you must visit when you come to Kichijoji. When the greenery of the park comes into view, that's when you know you reached the end of Nanaibashi Dori Street. Walk down the stairs and it will lead you right into Inokashira Park. Inokashira Park is certainly the main tourist attraction of Kichijoji. This big beautiful park is a place where the Ghibli Museum is located. Too bad we can't visit museum today, but since everybody had already known about it, let's save time and introduce some other great spots that Kichijoji has to offer. The park it is open in 1917. The total area is approximately 430,000 square meter. It has a part of the Kanda River flow included inside an Inokashira pond, about 43,000 square meter, at its center. The northwest part of the park includes a zoo, a sculpture museum, and a beautiful Japanese garden. There are also many stores and restaurants in the vicinity of the park. From this bridge, we can have a good view of Inokashira Pond. One of the most famous Tokyo urban legend is the one that circulates around the boat rise here at the pond. The pond is the source of Kanda River, as well as temple dedicated to Benzaiten, one of the seven gods of happiness, protector of literature, music, and marriage. By the will of her father, she was forced to marry a dragon to stop him from devouring children, and we have to thank her for that. However, Ben Zaiten is also said to be very jealous and vindictive, and she was the one who causes couples to break up after the boat ride on the pond. But then, another version of this legend also said that if you happen to ride one, especially lucky swan boat, you and your partner will be blessed with eternal love. Hmm, interesting. Are you willing to take the risk? Has been selected as one of the 100 best places to view cherry blossoms in Japan and one of the top 5 most beautiful parks in Tokyo. Not only cherry blossoms, here you can also indulge in the beauty of yellow-red foliage in autumn, which is just a few days ahead from now. Will you visit the park when you're here in Japan? Let us know in the comments. So hey Yuki, mm -hmm. I heard that you live in America, right? Yeah, you're right. Oh. I was in Minnesota state, mm -hmm. that is located uh, by the border of Canada, oh. by the Mississippi River. Uh -huh. It's very countryside, but it was a very nice place. Oh, cool. So how long you been there? Um, a year, uh -huh. as an exchanging student oh, when cool. I was in university. So people there nice? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good to know. And how about you? Well, I be living in California for in one California? month. California? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And same as you for exchange mm -hmm. student. Mm -hmm. By the way, so you be living in America mm -hmm. for one year. Mm -hmm. So comparing to Japan, mm -hmm. do you find any difference? I find a lot of difference, but <laughs> um, I would say that use of land is quite different because mm -hmm. United States is like a vast nation mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. true, true. you know that if we drive from north to south, the scenery totally changed uh -huh. and each house has huge land, you know, garden. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I, I got gotcha that. <laughs> Um, Japan too small. Yeah, I know. Japan is mountainous uh -huh. nation, and seventy percent is mount covered by mountain. And that's why yeah, Tokyo, especially Tokyo, is very cool. tiny. Land, I'm, I'm too so. big for Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, how about you? Well, um, comparing between America and Japan, before I went to America, mm -hmm. I thought that to living there. Mm -hmm. I need to spend more money. It might oh, be expensive than Japan. Really? But not at all. Oh. Like, you know, if you pay 100 yen, mm -hmm. 
you got this kind of package mm -hmm. of milk mm -hmm. in Japan, mm -hmm. but you pay 100 yen right. in America in the same price. You got this kind of big package, <laughs> like one gallon. Yeah, everything big. I know. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Mm. I love that too. <laughs> One of the spots that you must pay a visit to when you're inside Inokashira Park is the Daiseiji Temple. Daiseiji in Inokashira Park is a Buddhist temple. It is also known as Inokashira Benzaiten and Consecrate Benzaiten, one of the seven lucky gods. The main hall has some magnificent dragon carvings and in front of it, you can see the guardian lion dog Komainu. Komainu are usually found at shrines, but since they are guardians to ward off evil, they can be found in some temple like here also. On its right side, here you can take a good look at the Inokashira Pond. Benzaiten is a goddess derived from water, and since this Benzaiten is enshrined in an ideal location along the pure Inokashira pond, it is said to offer some of the greatest benefits. The most famous Benzaiten goddess is Zenyarai coin wash Benzaiten, and this temple is also famous for that coin wash ritual. If you go around the back of the main hall, you will find a watering place with a dragon god. When you visit, wash your coins with this water and use them right away. It is said that with this ritual, your luck will be improved. I hope that something good will happen to me and Ganchan too. You say that you come from Totori Ken, mm -hmm. right? Talking about Totori and mm -hmm. Tokyo, comparing to both of these, mm -hmm. do you feel any different? Yes, because I moved to you know different places mm -hmm. uh, after graduation of high school, mm -hmm. so that was a long time ago. <laughs> but yeah, I can I could, I found a lot of differences. But if I pick one, mm -hmm. I would say like in Totori, uh -huh. that shopping district is very limited, like Ian ah. Shopping Center or in front of Totori Station. I got you, I <laughs> we got don't you. have that many choices, but uh -huh. in Tokyo, like we have Shinjuku, Shibuya, Odaiba, Ebisu, Ikebukuro, I got you, Dad. Like very complicated sometimes. Yeah. Like you don't I'm know. a little bit tired of searching the ah. good restaurant <laughs> or shopping. Yeah, they got too much choice, and you don't you you don't yeah. know. Where have a good food, yeah, yeah, where yeah. should you pick, or oh, where have the cheapest one. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I got And you also, like, recently I'm a little bit tired of busy Tokyo, or that. packed mm -hmm. train. Uh -huh. But in Tokyo, we still have a rich nature, like Mount Takao, Mount ah. Mitake, Akikawa River. Oh, so you like nature? Yeah, and and I'm getting used to the remote work at home. Ah. So I'm, I am actually planning to have home and like countryside of Tokyo, like western part. Tokyo again? <laughs> yes, to Tokyo. Tokyo again? Yes, Why? To Tokyo. Yeah, actually my husband need to work in Tokyo until retirement, so we, we don't have that much choice. Ah, but I got you that. that, honestly, I want to live in Okinawa. Okinawa? <laughs> Okinawa. Oh, you, you love white doing, sand. Yeah, white sand and doing hula. Ah, hula dance? <laughs> you can yeah. do hula dance? Yeah, a little bit. I know some techniques, so... Wow, yeah. teach me then. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know it may sound a little bit stern to you guys, but it's already around 1pm when we are shooting this and the whole crew is craving for food. So here we are at this cute restaurant, Hatifunato Kichijoji no Uchi. 
from the north exit of Kichijoji Station, walk along the railroad track in the direction of Nishi Ogikubo for about 5 minutes, you'll see a house with a mint green exterior that looks like a fairy tale. As soon as you take a glance, I bet you can't help but exclaim, Oh, it's so cute! The small wooden door gives off snow white and the seven dwarf vibe, so be careful with your head. Once you're inside, it's like getting lost in another exciting world. The main space of this cafe is on its second floor, and the moment you walk through, your eyes will be filled with this beautiful and colorful illustration all over the walls. These are the works of the popular illustrator unit, Marini Montini, who are famous for their works on children's picture books, which is perfect match for the concept of this cafe, don't you think? I can't help but feel like we're inside a big picture book that I used to read when I was a child. Alright, it's time to order something to fill our stomachs. Look at all these menus! Why are they so cute like this? In addition to cakes, drinks, and other cafe menu items, there are also various side dishes and beverages. Lunch is also available on weekdays from half past 11 to 15 o'clock. Everything looks so delicious, so it was very hard time for us to choose what to eat then. Finally, the foods are here! We ordered Hatifuna's special taco rice plate, a tomato carbonara gratin, a cute art cafe latte, and this crispy chiffon banana. <laughs> They're all so delicious! This violet ice cream soda also caught my attention, so I ordered it. Oh, and when you pour the syrup in, the color turned pink. It also tastes wonderful. But to be honest, I think I ordered too much today. Guilty, guilty. Sounds like somebody's having a birthday party here. I hope they have fun! Gochisou sama deshita! The meal was lovely and we had a great time staying here. By the way, this cafe also had another brunch at Koenji. So pick your favorite and pay a visit when you have a chance. I highly recommend it. Okay guys, this video must already be longer than 15 minutes by now, so we'll take a break here. But hey, this is not the end of our Kichijoji trip. We have some more spots that we're really really excited to show you guys. So go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell button to be noticed when the next video comes out. Oh, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. We'll see you guys soon. Bye bye!